Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Central Moments channel. I'm Jolima and in this video I want to talk about three fragrances from the house of Fragrance du Bois. Uh, and these fragrances were released last year. I was reached out by Fragrance du Bois. Uh, they sent me an email and they were interested in collaborating with me and uh, well I was very grateful, I was very pleased. And of course, I accepted this collaboration. And so they sent these fragrances, these three fragrances for me to talk about them. So I already uh, tried these, I already experienced them on my skin. So I can give you a more in-depth overview of on how these fragrances smell like and also how they perform. So that being said, let's talk about these wonderful fragrances. The first fragrance is London Spice, this one right here. Uh, this is the thing that Fragrance Bois has, like their, their presentation is fantastic. Actually, I really do like the luxury experience that they want to transmit. Um, and it's really do appreciate, I really do appreciate that. And of course, you are paying a high amount of money. Uh, each of these fragrances 100 ml all of these are 100 ml and the price tag is over 300 euros so i mean of course it's expensive and but at least you have a nice uh experience in the overall presentation now of course i am familiarized with fragrance du bois i actually do like a couple of their fragrances uh, which is santal complet which is this delicious milky creamy sandalwood with a fig cord uh, and sahara which is a intoxicating animalic wood absolutely love that one too also very expensive so here you have the box here and inside you have another box another uh, another box, but this is velvet. But seriously, I mean, I absolutely love the the overall presentation. Now, of course, I know that my some of you might find this tacky, and well, in the end, this is just a matter of taste. But seriously, I really do like the touch. And here you have London Spice in this beautiful, beautiful box or coffret. Uh, so this is London Spice once again. Um, seriously, I really do like the detail, all the details here. And this is the bottle, as you can see here. I mean, beautiful, beautiful world presentation in my opinion. Um, so London Spice, I have here a blotter. So London Spice, and I will show you how this sprays. I mean, I absolutely love the mists. Look. Fantastic, so smooth, so, so smooth. Now, London Spice. I will be honest, and of course, I will just tell you my honest opinion on these fragrances, like I always do. So London Spice, I was expecting, like the name implies, a very spicy, bit daring, a bit funky, like sweaty because of maybe would have some cumin. But in the end, it's a fresh, citrusy, mildly spicy scent with some blue, blue fragrance like DNA. With some kind of ambroxan. In that vein so this opens up very citrusy with lemon bergamot and spearmint and then this change into a slightly aromatic spicy like cardamom nutmeg and then you get this ambroxan like impression so in the end this is a fresh 
citrusy, slightly spicy fragrance with some blueish vibes. I wasn't very impressed with this fragrance. Actually, I was disappointed. Um, just because I was expecting something different. Uh, I mean, with the name London Spice, I was like, ooh, this warm, spicy, the daring scent. No, it's completely the opposite. I mean, it's a nice scent. I'm not saying that it's, it's a nice scent, well-rounded. I mean, it's not piercing, but I would love something different. And the performance actually is, isn't incredible, at least on my skin, this is five to six hours in terms of longevity overall, and then uh, it's it's gone. I mean, it's a, this is a very airy fragrance, uh, so it's a nice signature scent. I mean, it's a nice fragrance. It's a type of fragrance that you will wear if um, you don't know what to wear, you know, I mean, you just pull three, four sprays, five sprays. I mean, you can be heavy. You can go heavy on a trigger with this one and you're good to go. I mean, it's a fresh, very likable, mainstream fragrance, but I was a bit disappointed. Nonetheless, I mean, beautiful bottle presentation, seriously beautiful. Now, the next fragrance that I have here is from, uh, of course, Fragrance Du Bois, and it is Cavo. And I love this color, this purple color. Um, and so the presentation is also pretty much similar. Um, so you have here the box, here you have also the name of the fragrance. And here you have the velvet coffre, if you want to call it. And then you have the the bottle sitting like it's so good i mean seriously i really do love this presentation and this is the bottle 100 ml cavor now cavor is it leans more into the feminine side of things um on me it's way too heavy in the in the ylang ylang i will also spray for you wow simply stunning i love the opening it's this blast of florals fresh florals that then the problem here is when that opening that it's really like a bouquet of florals. The problem is when it starts to develop on my skin and it's just a lang lang. It's like uh, this jammy lang lang with some ambers in the base, some sweet ambers. So, yeah, I, I, on my skin, actually on paper, it's really good. I mean, I much prefer this on paper than on my skin because on my skin, I, I really struggle with the Lang Lang. Lang Lang is a very tough note for me to appreciate because for me, it's very piercing and, and it's very fl yellow floral. I mean, it's hard to, to describe, but for me, it's just too piercing to my nose. You know, it's very aggressive and it makes my nose itch. Um, so. And this has that problem on my skin. Uh, so again, opens with this fresh floral bouquet, then develops into this jammy ylang, ylang with lots of sweet ambers. And it's very sweet. I mean, this is a sweet floral scent. I mean, you have the initial opening, which kind of it's a fresh floral bouquet, like I'm telling you, but then the sweetness comes. Yeah, and this is a very heavy, intense, powerful fragrance. This one lasts. All of them are Eau de Parfum concentrations, but this one really, 
of the three is the one that projects and performs the best actually unfortunately it doesn't work for me but and but oh my girlfriend this smells heavenly good <laughs> and she loves this one actually and i love to smell this on her i mean it's i get more rose more of a jammy rose the lang lang is there but it fits on her it just fits it's more smooth more tamed um and the sweetness is just right my skin it's everything is more aggressive on paper is actually quite nice quite pleasant the lang lang is not that strong although it's it's here but yeah, th this is not for everyone. You need to appreciate sweet floral fragrances. You need to appreciate the Lang Lang to enjoy this one. But yeah, if you like these type of fragrances, I mean, this is a must try, at least. It's a nice scent, but unfortunately, it's not for me. Now, number three, and this is not a ranked video, but I actually saved the best for last um, because this is actually my favorite. I absolutely love this one. So this is Secret Trist or Secret Trist. I, I really don't know how to pronounce this one, really. Um, but this is an amber fragrance and I am a sucker for ambers. I love amber fragrances. Uh, those gooey resin sweets Ugh, I love just love all of those facets from amber so again same type of presentation very luxurious the box of this coffre slides like so and then you have the bottle I mean beautiful I can't distress that enough I, for me I, I absolutely love the, the presentation um, and so this is Secret Trist. Now, I don't know if that's how you pronounce a Secret Trist. I, I don't know. Um, but this is... This is good. Oh, I was proud of my skin. Oh, man. I, I love the mist. Simply love it. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It right away amber, like sweet, warm, resinous, enveloping, alluring, sensual, very sensual. <laughs> amber. And amber is here is the main note. Now, is it the most original scent? I mean, of course not, because you have a lot of ambers out there. Um, if you love Ambers like uh, Ambre Sultan by Serge Lutam, like that, those type of ambers. I'm not saying that this is similar to that one or it's a clone. No, no, it's not. It's very different from Ambre Sultan. But the type of amber, I mean, it goes in that territory. So if you are familiarized with these type of ambers, like the sweet, gooey, syrupy, warm, resinous ambers, you will definitely love Secret. Trist, <laughs> my god, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should have googled how you should pronounce it. This one, uh, and, and it's my favorite. I mean, so shame on me. No, oh, but I really love this one. Oh, it's so good. No, I really do like this one. Um, not the most groundbreaking, not at all. It doesn't, it's not reinventing the wheel, but it just smells good. It's just that sensual and alluring and the, it's very smooth and it's very well done the amber here it's very well done yeah this is this is really it's it's a bit one-dimensional on my skin um but i don't mind because i really love from the opening until the dry down now the dry down here the um, the performance is what i wanted to say the performance isn't that good i mean it's good but it's not amazing as i was expecting i mean cavor is through the roof <laughs> the performance i mean you can smell to the next day uh this one i mean it's it's in the six seven hours it's it's a bit better it's just slightly better than the london spice but it's but it's it for me it's better well 
I tend to appreciate more these type of fragrances. So in the end, this is all a matter of taste. Um, I tend to appreciate more these type of fragrances. So that's why, I mean, it's obvious that I would love this one. And I actually do. Yeah, it's a great scent. Uh, definitely my favorite. Definitely the, the one that I will be wearing uh, a lot because um, it's it's worth it it's 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 really worth it so yeah this is secret tryst by uh fragrance du bois and this finishes my video guys i hope you enjoyed this video tell me in the comments down below what fragrance du bois fragrances you already tried are you familiarized with fragrance du bois are you did you have you already tried any of these three fragrances if so tell me which one is your favorite um love to hear your thoughts and see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Ciao.